amazing discoveries about Neanderthals. Welcome to Throwback Thursdays. Number 10. Burying the Dead After studying the remains of Neanderthals found in a cave in southwestern France, researchers came to this conclusion. Neanderthals conducted burial ceremonies for the dead. The remains examined showed no evidence of disturbance from outside elements or from animals. That led experts to believe they were covered intentionally and quickly. It's unknown if this practice was done as part of a formal ritual or for purely pragmatic reasons, but the discovery is thought to show less behavioral distance between humans and Neanderthals than may have been previously thought. Number 9. Did you know the world's oldest jewelry may have been created by Neanderthals? Researchers examined eight eagle talons discovered at a site in Croatia that was inhabited by them. The claws had been cut from the feet of a white-tailed eagle, and cut marks showed evidence of them having been strung together with string or animal tissue. The eight polished claws may have been used as a necklace or bracelet. Dated at around 130,000 years old, anthropologists say it's the oldest example of jewelry yet discovered. The claws predate the appearance of modern humans in Europe by some 80,000 years. The findings suggest that eagle talents could have had a symbolic purpose, and that refutes claims by some experts that Neanderthals either did not possess such behavior or they copied it from modern humans. Number 8. Recent evidence has revealed that Neanderthals may well have been master tacticians when it came to hunting down Ice Age beasts. Forensic analysis was conducted on the hunting grounds in France and Germany. It shows that our prehistoric human relatives were brilliant tacticians when it came to killing the prey. Hunting parties were smart enough to use the landscape to give them an advantage over their fleet-footed quarry. Because Neanderthals were stocky and more heavily built, they were thought to be slower. Instead, evidence has shown they would herd large prey like rhinos, bison, and horses into locations where the animals could be ambushed. It appears that once Neanderthals identified certain kill sites, they returned to them often, and that would include locations containing cul-de-sacs, bottlenecks, and blind corners where the animals could be easily trapped. Afterward, they would decide which carcasses to process and which to ignore. Number 7. Did Neanderthals talk like us? Scientists scanned the fossilized ear bones of 14 Neanderthals and found physical differences in their shape and form, but further analysis revealed their ear bones seemed to function identically to ours. It suggests they possessed a similar auditory sensitivity necessary for speech. That means they may have communicated vocally not unlike Homo sapiens. Because 3D scans showed that Middle Ear structures between modern humans and Neanderthals were extremely similar, it suggests aspects of vocal communication shared between the two species. A popular view held that Neanderthals were slow-witted or communicated only through simple grunts, but researchers found that a gene from Neanderthal DNA is the same as found in modern Homo sapiens. That gene is essential for speech development and vocal Local communication in humans. Number 6. Mysterious stone rings were discovered deep within a French cave and were likely built by Neanderthals over 176,000 years ago. It's thought to be the first dated evidence of Neanderthal construction. In this picture by Atien Fabre, you can see a scientist taking measurements within that cave. Fragments of cave formations arranged in heaps and rings can be seen scattered about the cave floor. In total, the rings and piles are thought to weigh more than two tons. The complex structure indicates that Neanderthals worked in coordinated groups and could execute a preconceived plan. A 3D map by Xavier Muth gives a more complete look at the stalagmite fragments arranged within the cave. For what purpose did the Neanderthals build these strange structures? That is still a mystery. Number five. Did Neanderthals and humans interbreed? Genetic evidence suggests that the timelines of humans and Neanderthals overlapped in Europe for over 5,000 years, and they did in fact interbreed. Looking at a period dating back some 40,000 years, researchers claimed that Neanderthals were not suddenly replaced by humans, they actually disappeared at 
different times. Scientists examined bone, charcoal, and shell samples from 40 European sites to prove the two groups overlapped for a key period of time, allowing plenty of opportunity for interaction. While researchers have evidence to prove interbreeding occurred, they're unsure about precisely where it happened and how often. Neanderthals are considered genetically different from humans. Some sources claim they are a human subspecies, while others believe Neanderthals were a distinct species, separate from humans altogether. Number 4. Gorham's Cave. This natural sea cave in Gibraltar is thought to be one of the last known places inhabited by Neanderthals. In 2012, an international research team discovered a series of crisscrossing lines covering an area of about one square meter. The lines were engraved into bedrock more than 39,000 years old and are the first known examples of Neanderthal rock art. The abstract pattern is said to demonstrate Neanderthals' capacity for abstract art and expression. Experts think the marks were carved for ritual purposes and as a means to communicate with others. Not all archaeologists are convinced, however, saying that it's possible those markings may have been made by modern humans instead. Number 3. The world's oldest works of art were found in a cave on the Costa del Sol of Spain. Six paintings of seals have been estimated to be at least 42,000 years old and were created by Neanderthals. The prehistoric artwork was found in the Nerja Caves in Andalusia and are the only known artistic images created by Neanderthals. Number 2. Did Neanderthals wage battles with saber-toothed cats? A fossilized humerus as well as fossilized teeth of saber-toothed cats were found in the same area as a number of implements including wooden spears and a burnt stick that dates back some 300,000 years. The wooden spears, measuring around 2.3 meters long, are considered to be the world's oldest. Experts say that Neanderthals would have inhabited the area at the time and it is possible that the spears found there were used for hunting as well as for self-defense. Experts consider it, quote, highly likely, end quote, that Neanderthals confronted the cats, suggesting some violent clashes. Number 1 disappearing act. How did Neanderthals go extinct? Well, a common belief is that they couldn't compete with modern humans for food and resources and suddenly died out. Neanderthals flourished in Eurasia for around 300,000 years, then vanished about 40,000 years ago as modern humans started to settle in Europe. Neanderthal DNA, which was sequenced in 2010, revealed clear evidence of interbreeding, and this has come to be accepted as a major reason for the disappearance of Neanderthals. They may have survived in pockets of dwindling numbers within Europe for thousands of years before becoming altogether extinct, although in a sense, our close relatives are still with us. Today, Neanderthal inheritance is estimated to comprise up to 4% of the DNA of humans outside of Africa, and some experts think certain modern ailments like lupus and type 2 diabetes can be traced back to genetic variants inherited from Neanderthals. Welcome to Throwback Thursdays. 